Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Technically T and you already know I had to bring you this quick video to discuss a little bit about what happened at that Apple keynote event. Now, if you weren't on Twitter or you didn't watch the keynote, you already know Apple had a keynote today and we got one new Apple Watch, well, a few new Apple Watches, of course, and we also have three new iPhones. Now, in this video, I'm basically gonna gloss over it real quick. I'm not really gonna get too deep into the specs. So if you wanna see something like that, you might wanna switch to another video, man, because we're gonna talk about what I like, what I don't like, and what devices that I plan on getting. Now, starting off, we're gonna talk a little bit about that Apple Watch Series 4. Now, we already knew what it look like absolute beautiful watch man excellent craftsmanship when it comes to apple when they come to the apple watches of course it's bigger 40 mil 44 mil we get a 50 percent louder speaker we get haptic feedback on the touch dial but one thing that blew me away was the health features and the capabilities when it comes to monitoring your heart so now apple is not only diving into the young market man but they're starting to get a little bit into that older market when it comes to their consumers and who they're actually, you know, narrowing the Apple Watch for. So basically what it does is like an EKG on your wrist, man. You can get your, your heart rates, your heart beating patterns, if something is irregular, you can send it over to your doctor to let you know that your heart is beating at an irregular motion and different things like that, man. So I feel like that really, really is a dope feature from Apple. And another thing that they're including is fall detection. Now basically what fall detection is, is the Apple Watch can sense when you hit that ground, when you fall, and if you're on that ground, I think a little bit longer than 30 or a minute, it will actually dial 9 for you and they can actually come and save you. Rest in peace, life alert. But all of that said, man, Apple is really honing in on the help features and I feel like nobody incorporates anything in their devices, especially when it comes to the help like Apple. So a huge kudos out there to Apple because they're killing it with those features with the Apple Watch 4. Now, am I gonna rush out there and get an Apple Watch 4, man, as good as it looks, and it does look like a damn good, sexy device, but I'm not really rocking with it this year, man. I think I'm gonna wait till next year because my Apple Watch Series 3 is doing me just fine, and for what I use it for, this is more than enough because I don't really feel the need to go ahead and break that bread on the Series 4 because I need to save my money for that new iPhone. So let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about the new iPhone. Now, of course, you know, there were three iPhones that were announced today. Now I need to pause and take a deep breath because I keep messing up this naming convention that Apple just popped up in their head with all these XS, XR, 10R, whatever. Anyway, three new iPhones, man. <laughs> 10S, 10S Max, and your 10R. Now, you already know your 10S and your 10S Max are gonna be kind of your top dog flagships, man. They rocking that new A12 Bionic processor. The Max are giving us that 6.5 inch screen. We have a better battery. We have a better improved camera. I think we have a new and improved seven megapixel camera. We have your colors, of course, space gray, silver, rocking that new gold. And of course, they're giving you a 512 option if you wanna be about the big dogs out there. Now me, on this year, I'm playing I'm playing little dog. I'm not rocking out there and getting the big boy because that's a little bit too much of this. So we're gonna be in the mid level. We're gonna be on the pedestal and gonna rock with that 256 gigabyte version. But if you don't wanna rock with that and you don't wanna spend the bread, to get that XS Max or your XS, then you might wanna look at this 10R that they got going on, man, because this 10R is looking kind of good. And I was bashing in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, I was saying it was a glorified 5C, but after looking at it, after looking at the prices of the, 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 the 10S and the 10S Max, now I can understand the avenue of the 10R. Now, basically what this 10R has to offer is a 6.1 inch LCD display. Now, I believe the screen resolution is the same as the iPhone 8, but it's a, it's a bigger device, so therefore I don't know if the clarity is gonna be there. You know, that's one downfall for me because it's 2018, it's gonna be 2019. This phone is gonna be out there in 2019 and it's, it doesn't even have a 1080p display. I mean, OnePlus has given us a $650 phone and it has a 1080, a great 1080. So I don't understand why they couldn't give the 10R a 1080p display, but we're not gonna go about that, man. We're talking mostly about what it has to offer. Now, it does have that same A12 Bionic chip that I'm absolutely hyped about. It does have a single camera on the back, but it is capable of portrait mode. And one thing, or well, two things, where the 10R really shines 
is that it offers an hour and a half battery life over the 8 plus which is absolutely amazing because the battery on the 8 plus was great in my opinion and the price point of the 10r this bad boy is starting at 750 bucks and of course it goes up a little bit you know depending on what tier and what gigabyte model that you get but right where its price is actually a very very good price for what it offers and of course they come in tons of colors if you want to rock out that way many different colors they have a very nice blue you got your red and i don't even remember all the type colors man but it has i think six colors but it's a very very nice option in my opinion for somebody who doesn't want to spend that big dog price now the screen resolution for me is a little bit of a miss because i don't understand who would not come from like myself 10r doesn't appeal to me because i'm using phones such as the note 9 and the iphone 10 when i'm getting that top tier screen resolution and there's no way in the hell i'm about to drop back down to go to a 10r and get that bad screen resolution i'm not doing it but if it's somebody your kids or somebody who just doesn't care about having all that crispy screen i don't know how you can't but somebody out there who doesn't care about that in the 10r i feel like appeals right up your avenue now apple was absolutely bugging when it came to the prices of these new iphones the 512 gigabyte is around 1500 bucks and there's no way that i'm going to be spending that type of money to get that iphone man like i said i'm playing middle dog this year i'm rocking with the iphone 10s max i think i'm gonna get the silver version this year and i'm getting to 256 gigabyte version now as of right now i have no plans on getting the 10r maybe later next year or something like that i may pick it up if there is a desire to but right now i will be getting the 10s max as my daily driver i already have my alarm set i'm already going to be pre-ordering and waking up at 2 50 in the morning to drop that pre-order at 3 a.m I don't plan on failing this year like last year, man. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that above. But that's the device I'm going for, and that's the device that you guys will see on this channel. A few little things to add real quick. No, we didn't get any new AirPods, and no, they didn't say a thing about Air Power. Now, we're not going to talk about it because they don't talk about it. Air Power is dead to me. I would like to see some, some new Apple AirPods, but none came out. Mine worked just fine. Maybe that's something they may introduce maybe in the springtime next year or something like that. But are you guys excited for the new iPhone? I know a lot of people weren't. If you are excited, drop down in the comment section below and let me know what you think, man. Get some conversation started down there. What iPhone are you ordering and why you're ordering it? What configuration are you planning to order? Check out my YouTube community tab because I have a voting process going on right now to let you know, you know what are you ordering? I wanna see what you guys have going on out there. Drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You already know we have tons of new iPhone coverage coming to the channel, tons of case reviews. You already know I already have cases coming starting today like i got emails immediately after the event was over to send some of these cases out so i have those bad boys coming and the usual videos that you can expect from me when it comes to the new iphone man but until next time i'll catch you later